Joseph, it's a shame we don't have you live on the Willamette. I would like to see you just kind of waltz your way in and fall forward flat into that, the river. That's her move. I, yeah, don't, I don't think I could take it, that it's one. It's working for her, for sure. <laughs> yeah. So we're approaching this record. We've kind of had our eye on yep. it for a couple weeks now, 90 degree days. Do you think we're going to eclipse it finally? I think we're going to at least tie it coming up this okay. new week and then potentially break it. Okay. So we're going to be really close. Yeah. Uh, river temperatures in the 70s. So uh, just the other day, it was about 74 degrees when I was out there on Wednesday. Should be about the same today. Those river temperatures mainly in the 70s for the exception of the Deschutes they're about 58 degrees slightly cooler and that goes for the Sandy River uh, but pretty comfortable and since it's nice and warm outside it's a good idea to maybe go and uh, do some water activities that's what they're doing down in Ben check that out I mean you need the the wetsuit on for something like this they have the tubes going on temperatures at 91 degrees over in Bend all right, so what can we expect over the next few days? Well, our Sunday is going to be uh, just about indistinguishable from what we had today. It's nice and sunny. It was warm, and uh, we're going to get that again come tomorrow. Uh, beyond that, the heat and the haze returns. I expect wildfire smoke may be moving in late tomorrow night, but definitely come Monday and likely stick it around through Wednesday. I'm not sure if it's going to be as thick as what we had experienced last week, but we're definitely going to have uh, some smoky skies out there, which will probably in return also uh, make the air quality a little worse. All right, cooler air falls behind that, so as long as we can march through and get through about Wednesday, then I think we'll be okay uh, starting Thursday, Friday, and into next weekend. There's some wildfire smoke right now in eastern Washington. Eventually, it's going to move our direction again. I think it's going to arrive late tomorrow night. And then we'll see on Monday uh, kind of a smoky scene. We just have the clouds there though right now for the coasts. Disturbance way out there over towards the Aleutian Islands. But for us here in the Pacific Northwest, it's staying dry, kind of sandwiched between two systems. You can see the showers here uh, passing through areas of Wyoming, Montana, and down towards Colorado. But no rain for us, and we just haven't seen much all summer. So last measurable rain was, yeah, it was August 11th, but it wasn't much. And then before that, prior, we did have some sprinkles on the 4th of July, if you remember that. But uh, July 2nd, we had some rain. But so far, uh, we're about five and a half plus inches behind where we should be. All right, we had 80s there just to the west, west of the Willamette, 80s here closer towards Portland, 86 right now for Vancouver and 83 for Camas. So we're all kind of right there in the ballpark of the lower to mid 80s. Uh, so far as uh, we were talking there up at the desk with Trevor, uh, we're at 28 days. The record's 29. I think we're going to get there probably on Monday, but July was a scorcher. I mean, half the month we had about 90 degree temperatures, and so far in August we've had about eight. So it's going to be up and down week. We're going to be about 87 tomorrow. Tuesday, check that out, it's 94 degrees, and then we slide down to a much more comfortable weather temperature, at least uh, temperatures outside and more comfortable weather. Uh, temperatures in the upper 70s by Thursday and into Friday, so that's something to look forward to. As far as tomorrow, temperatures in the 60s, some clouds there along the coast, similar day. Uh, we're going to be about the upper 80s tomorrow, Beaverton about 88, Salem about the same in the upper 80s. Madras 92. Pendleton about 94 through the gorge, temperatures in the upper 80s, and government camp uh, likely uh, near 70 degrees. Seven day forecast 93 on Monday, 94 on Tuesday. So I think if we hit it on Monday and tie it, we'll probably break it on Tuesday. But uh, as you mentioned, we were hoping we'd stay cool uh, maybe Thursday, Friday last week. I think uh, Thursday, Friday this week will feel good. Okay, a nice cuss. It's one of those things I'm torn. You know, I, I like to break records. Yes. That's always nice. That's always fun. I want it to be cooler. It's more comfortable. <laughs> yeah. Don't want summer to end. Yeah. I don't know what to root for, Joseph. Back and forth. I'm back torn and forth. Yeah. For sure. Thank you very much. Coming up next, too much.